What's up, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? I'm doing all right, and today we have another mother freaking video. So, this video, I believe, is all about mental health. Shout out to this guy. Mm -hmm. Um, he wound up sending me um his video on Reddit. I've been asking people to, you know, if you want your content shared, you know, and you think you have a good video please send it to me, you know, um, you know, on Reddit or comment below and just be like, hey, would you mind reacting to some of my content? I will check you out. I am not biased. I will let you know if your content is good or if you need to work on your content. I'm not going to just say it is flat out shitty. I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I believe that everybody deserves a chance and everybody has a different type of niche, you know. So you know hey but today's video is he can't decide on whether to live spark prime reacts r slash mental health let's get into this video mm -hmm. let's see what he then found on reddit because it'd be some crazy stuff on reddit like i've tried to extend my hand to some people and then they get to asking me a whole list of questions and i'm like do you want my services or not do you want me to help you or not i can't say that this person gonna speak to you i can't say that you know xyz gonna do something for you but what i can do is offer you know my services to you and it's up to you if you want to take them but um shout out to spark prime reacts and you have another reactor reacted to you so shout out to you for actually you know reacting to other people's content as well you know and I am going to subscribe because it only takes two seconds. Boom. And I'm also going to hit that notification bell. And I'm going to comment because it only takes two seconds, guys. Let me see. Where is the comment thing? Oh, here we go. Hey, it's me. Um, matter of fact, let me change because y'all know I'm an artist. So let me switch my account. So I'm sub to him on both my accounts. Um, yeah, we're going to start this video in a moment. Y'all got to bear with me. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right. So I don't know if he wanted me from the start from that moment, but we're going to check out your full video, my brother. You know what I'm saying? We're going to subscribe. Okay. Now he has four subscribers. I'm going to need my people to go over there let's get them to 10 at least can we at least get this brother to 10 subscribers so like it don't take that long it's not crazy you know it's just let's support our people you know what i'm saying so hello it's me had to show some love bro boom takes two seconds okay we about to get into this video let's go people this message and yeah, you really do time. One of the things that I've worked on in terms of being happy for myself is let's get it. It's going on nice. It's about to go back to the video. I hope you guys are doing all right. If you yes. Want, it's going to give you endless happiness for each of you guys that are here. May God bless you with tremendous gifts. Yes. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? I had to support. You know what I'm saying? Because when I see another reactor, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, they talk shit about us because they say that we're stealing people content. But no, we're actually wanting to share your content. It's a difference. It's like marketing on a whole nother level, if you understand where we're coming from in our minds. So, unexplainable things, things that make you endlessly happy. <coughs> but we have another content here today. Again, you guys are amazing, you guys are important. And for those who stick to these videos, I appreciate it. You know, I'm, I'm just thinking to see videos that we find relatable. A lot of us kind of go through these things. And we don't have anybody to talk to, about, which is kind of sad. Let's move on to it. Today's story, the title is I Don't Know What To Do by Tired Artist Fulton. I don't know what to do. I've been struggling with mental health since middle school, and I have a therapist. I feel okay most of the time. Sometimes when I'm alone and everything is quiet, my mind goes the same. I have many hurtful thoughts and I'm scared. It might be something very stupid to myself. My parents are nice people with flaws like any other parents. And it makes me incredibly sad to think I might be a burden to them or that I might hurt them. When I talk to them about how I was feeling, they ask me to feel as good. 
but it is I just don't feel it. I don't have any friends. I don't go to school anymore and I work from home. So I'm incredibly worried. I have no social skills and I'm also scared of people. I'm scared that people might not like me. I don't even like me. What should I do? Hmm. And this is what a lot of children are facing these days. I'm glad that you wanted to react to this, my brother, as well. Um, so I'm going to give my little piece, and then we're going to see what um, this brother has to say, Spark Prime has to say about this. Um, but when I see things like this, and I see children going through that phase of not knowing their purpose in life, and not knowing whether people will like them, and this is what I got to say. People don't like me and have not liked me since I was in middle school, mm -hmm. since I was probably in, um, let me think second grade maybe um i got a lot of story times y'all people just didn't like me because i didn't speak and what they didn't know was because the reason why i wasn't speaking is because i knew that you guys would start acting like this like i just i begged my mom like i remember going to preschool everything was fine i remember going to preschool I remember going to first grade and then when second grade came around, I don't know what happened. It was just like, um, people would talk about my unibrow. Like I know it's there, bitch. <laughs> That's what I used to say, say in my mind. And then um, I had got in trouble one time. Like me and my sister had got in trouble cause we both, we started getting hairy, you know what I'm saying? And me, I chopped this mofo off. We found a razor and we went to town on ourselves, like for real. And my, my mom went in on us. Like, you are beautiful and don't let nobody tell you that you ain't. And for you fellas, y'all are handsome. Don't let nobody tell you that you ain't. You know, it's somebody for everyone out there in the world. Trust me. There's somebody for everyone in the world who deserves someone. So let's get back into this content. This stuff makes it need to explain. So it's kind of new to me that even middle school people go through mental health. I feel like most of the people that I've heard or go through depression and all that starts from high school. It's possible that middle school students even go through it. And you have mm -hmm. to uh, That's great. You have the bad type of therapist, like the new therapist that at the end of the day would give you drugs or some type of pills. Yeah. Don't go for the top of the top Yeah. I feel okay most of the time. So you're basically going insane if you're by yourself. If there's nothing around, I mean, I don't know what kind of insane you're talking about. I I, I can't say what kind of insane you mean. You have many hurtful thoughts and you're scared that mm -hmm. you might do something stupid to yourself. As for me, I feel, I, I feel, I, I have those kind of thoughts sometimes, you know. I mean, especially when I'm not feeling well, it's in terms of when I'm angry, mm -hmm. and, you know, when I'm in a bad mood, I actually get scared of myself, which this guy said, I, I get scared of myself when I'm angry. Right. I don't want to do anything that's out of my control mm -hmm. before I realize I'm like, oh, damn. Right. Your parents, when they tell you, you mentioned your parents, and I see people with flaws, like, and they okay, yeah, that's cool, yeah, that's normal. They think that it's their fault that you might feel this way, but you admitted it, that's it's not their fault. I mean, right. it's surprising right. you got parents that are supportive. You know? Most parents would be like, well, where do you get that feeling from? Right. That doesn't sound normal. But it anyway, don't. let's get right. story. You don't have any friends, which... That's a red flag. Yeah. That's a, that's a huge red flag. You don't go to school anymore. In middle school? Like, you don't go to high school anymore? Okay, cool, cool, cool. And you work from home, which is a good start, you know? Making money yeah. from home at a young age. And you're incredibly lonely. Yeah, I get it. I have no social skills. I'm scared of people who won't like you. You know, yeah, that's the kind of thing. You know, it's kind of hard to find mm -hmm. relatable people in that kind of field to be like, okay, this guy's more of an introvert. I like to stick with extroverts. And yeah. then they kind of just put you out of the setting. I have experienced... And that's crazy because I'm more of an introvert, but I love to be around people who are extroverts because it helps people who are introverts be able to speak to other people who are not like them. And it makes you come out your shell a little bit more. So I wouldn't say force yourself, but I forced myself. I said, you know what? I'm not going to be a hermit. I'm not going to just be stuck within my brain here because that's when you start to think the wrong thoughts like you know I've went to a, a therapist before and I'm wrong with like having a therapist um I think especially with me being a musical artist I think it's great for me to have one because you know not everybody's gonna like what I do 
um, there's going to be people who bash you, hate you, in, until you die, and after you die. So, so that <clears throat> there's nowhere for you to change how people feel, but who, oh, excuse me, you can always change the way you feel about you. Trust me. Chapter four. People just think those introverts are boring, too shy, too quiet, so they just there's nothing for it them to say. But you don't like yourself, which is even worse. Which is even worse, and people are actually scared to admit it to themselves. You know, when you go, when people go through things in life like these, you know, it's not easy to be comfortable and to be happy with yourself. You know, yes. again, let me remind you guys: you guys are important. You guys are very, you guys very, are very important. important. And you guys need to tell yourselves that you're amazing. There's nobody that can tell you you're not amazing. You're worthless. Right. I mean, people do. Say that. But don't take it upon yourself and be like, yeah, just because it said it means I really am worthless. Right. No. So just you're what not. I advise you to Period. do is start to, I guess, work on things that will make you feel happy. You know, of course, mm -hmm. with what you just mentioned on your story. But yeah, you're really going through some hard times. You know, I'm not going to deny that. You know, I, I can't blame you, expect of how you feel because if I was in your shoes, which I have been somehow, I, 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 would be, I would be feeling the exact same way like you do. So what you should do is actually, one of the things that I've worked on you know, in terms of being happy with myself is, you know, well, every time I wake up, you always know, tell yourself, you sit down and tell yourself that you feel amazing, that you mm -hmm. are amazing, no matter how people think of you, you're yeah. amazing, you are important, it doesn't matter people call you worthless or slow any type of it you're important period right. you feel that you actually woke up and you're one of those people that are currently alive in the world it means that you're important so again don't be hard on yourself just make sure you tell yourself that you are important and you are important you really are important and you know you should feel appreciated that you actually are living this world and you're you're able to do things that you want to do make sure you tell yourself that every day it doesn't have to be every morning like multiple times every day so that's all I have today. I appreciate it that you guys posted your story. For those who want me to read the stories, you can post them on the mental health subreddit. Just search it, post it on story, and I'll be able to read them. I hope I see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to leave a like on the video. Just a like. Let's go for three likes, and I'll meet you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching. Yes. Yeah, so, shout out to this brother. You know, he being a positive, a positive, person in our community and you know when I see you know young brothers like this that's trying to be motivated like are being motivating mm -hmm. to others and giving people you know giving people that love that they deserve and that they need you know that's what we all need in this world COVID struck something that none of us was hoping to ever happen, okay? And when kids started getting separated, now that they're going back to school, there's people shooting up schools, there's people doing X, Y, Z, going crazy, and you got to remember who you are at the end of the day, you know? Love yourself, love on yourself, do things to make you feel good at the end of the day and that's my thing for today you know what i'm saying so shout out to spark prime i will be reacting to some more of your content just know it's coming it's coming my brother i got you and i love y'all peace